Greetings, Eric Bracken. Back to you again. We're talking about seborrheic um, seborrheic dermatitis. So, what are some of the typical signs and symptoms of seborrheic? Let's talk about them now. I've made a few notes here. So, remember, this condition often affects the scalp, the face, and and the chest. All right. We find it typically around the creases also of the ears or around the nose. We see it here around the brow. We, we will see some skin problems. So winter time, often this condition will play up with a lot of people. So people, for example, who get more eczema or dermatitis, if you get that problem, find it worse in winter uh, than they would do in summertime. So sun exposure and being outside tends to improve the condition, whereas being inside in the dark and the cold they can tend to flare it up more. It's, you know, inside it's not quite right, like the temperature is not quite right and the humidity of the air is not quite right. This is often when skin conditions do flare up with many people. Minimal itch. So you're not really going to get a ton of itching uh, with this particular skin condition normally. Sometimes on the scalp you might get a little bit of it, but it's not as common as it would be in eczema or psoriasis. Combination oily and dry mid-facial skin. So you'll find oily patches on the face quite commonly. And most people with septum have got oiliness there of the face and of the scalp. Um, Ill-defined localized scaly patches with a few scale in the scalp. The scalp's commonly affected. Could be yellow patches, could be white patches of skin. So blepharitis and or scaly sort of oily eyelids or problem with the eyelids. Some people you'll see will have little bits of dandruff hanging off the eyes or around the brow here. That said, um, salmon pink colored, thin scaly or ill-defined plaques in skin folds on both sides of the face. So having sort of plaques around here or here, you know, red, reddy color, pinkish color, uh, that's septum. Petal or ring shaped flaky patches on hairline and on anterior chest. So again, the anterior, the front of the chest here patches, you know, funny sort of flaky patches here, quite common. And you're going to get around the hairline as well. This is where people confuse it with psoriasis sometimes because it can be around the ears and around the hairline. Rash can occur in armpits, around the breast region, in the um, groin folds and the genital creases. Can occur, not commonly, but it can also be in these areas. And also folliculitis or the inflammation of hair follicles is not uncommon. This can occur around the eyes, it can occur around the, uh, around the, uh, around the head and also sometimes around the cheeks. Guys can get really inflamed follicles with lots of pus and yellow and, you know, sounds all charming, doesn't it? But that's with septum. I've seen some really bad cases in teenage males, shocking septum. So there you have it. That's the signs and symptoms of this skin condition. Thanks for tuning in.